Hey, what's up guys? Jackson here of Concealer This. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a final review for you guys on my Diamond Virgin Hair Company Mink Brazilian Curly Hair. If you guys would like to find out my thoughts about this hair, then keep on watching. So I first introduced this hair to you guys on January 11th, 2015 when I showed you how to make a curly wig. That's my full wig. I'll be sure to place all of the links in conjunction with this hair down below so that you guys can check out everything that I did with it. But I have had this hair for well over a month now and so I am very confident in telling you guys exactly how I feel about it and my personal experience with this hair. So when I first got the hair, I must tell you that I thought it was some of the most softest hair that I have ever experienced. It was just very plush. Very plush, very soft. Um, the luster on the hair was amazing and I was just like, this is like some really, really pretty hair. So I was definitely excited to wear it and find out more about the hair. Prior to receiving the hair, I did do a bit of research, so just like many of us, I went on YouTube to check out to see what other um, YouTubers had to say about the hair, and specifically, um, I believe I watched the majority of Morgan Taylor's review on this particular hair. Um, because she wears a lot of curly hair, so um, I wanted to see what she had to say about it. She had a great positive review for it, so I was very excited to see um, and experience the hair for myself. Alright, so when I received the hair, I got two 26 inches and two 24 inches, and I really want to say that I got like an 18 or 16 inch uh, free parting lace closure for, um, for my unit. So the hair was extremely long, 26 inches was the longest that I have ever experienced with hair. Um, I did cut this hair, so I'm going to stand up and let you guys see it. I did I did cut the hair quite a bit. It actually came to right about here. That was a little bit too long for me and I really needed to kind of frame the hair around my face because it laid um, very limp in terms of uh, just the just the, 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 the texture. I will say though, um, upon receiving the hair when I first got it, the hair was a lot more curly than what you see today. Um, I will get into more detail about that, but I will say that definitely the hair was a very, very pretty, like, almost, not coiled, but just a lot more tighter in consistency um, than what you see right now. Since I've had this hair for over a month, I believe that this hair has been through about six washes. I did um, decide to use a, a shampoo instead of just co-washing the hair. So each time that I washed the hair, I shampooed and conditioned, and conditioned the hair. I will say what I enjoy the most about this hair was the fact that every time I did wash it, um, it did go back to a curl pattern. Now that curl pattern uh, did start start to dwindle a bit the more I washed it. Um, so again, like I said, when I started with the hair, it was a lot more curlier than what you see right now. I would honestly describe this hair at this point as more of a wavy texture as opposed to curly, but it did maintain texture and I was very satisfied about that. What you guys see today is um, me manipulating the hair, so I did use a curling wand to achieve these curls at the top. So as I stated, I received a free parting lace closure when um, the un when the hair arrived to me to create a full uh, a full wig. So I immediately noticed that when I got the closure, the closure texture did not look identical to the to the hair. Um, there was a difference in uh, there was a difference in luster, and for me personally, I could tell that there was a difference. It seemed like there was a difference in the quality or the grade of hair that I received on the closure. Um, I didn't want to completely judge it at that point, so I just kind of wanted to see how it would work when I actually placed it onto uh, my cap and blended it with um, and blended it with the actual hair wefting. What I saw was that there definitely was a difference in texture and a difference in luster. So when I was wearing the hair in the early stages, I would definitely have to like kind of curl it or use a smaller curling wand to get a more true to true to texture texture for the closure. Over time, I will also tell you guys that while the hair maintained its luster and maintained its um, 
just his overall appearance. It seemed as if the closure started to lose its appearance, so um, I had to manipulate it even more as time progressed. Um, I will also say, though, a good thing about the closure is that I did not receive any shedding, so I did enjoy that about the closure, but overall, I would say that my experience wasn't as good as my experience with the wefted hair. Because I was wearing a wig, um, I did have the opportunity of taking the wig on and off at night. Um, however, it is winter time here in Chicago, so um, I had started to experience um, tangling in the back of my head, but I wasn't completely like um, upset about that or, or feeling like it was something that was wrong with the hair. That happens when you wear coats and when, you know, just life in general, it's going to do some tangling, even if it was your real hair. That would happen but I did experience some tangling in the back I would just tend to pay more closer attention um, when I would be washing and conditioning the hair to make sure that I detangled the hair in the back very well again I will say to you guys that the hair was really stellar though I have enjoyed this hair and I feel like this hair is going to be um, at least this particular unit is going to be a unit that I keep in my collection because the hair um, is just really beautiful hair and I feel like um, you know I'll get a nice long amount of time to wear the hair. For shedding of the actual wefts, I did not experience a lot of shedding um, in this month plus, you know, a month or so in wearing the hair. The only time that I experienced um, an increase of shedding was this last time, and I actually showed it to you all in my previous video if you saw how I wash and maintain my curly hair, which I'll also place the link down below as well. Um, I was kind of finger combing, which is something that you probably shouldn't do. I feel like it could have had a lot to do with me, but I was finger combing the hair prior to adding conditioner. So I was just kind of um, saturating the hair with water and I was finger combing. And then a like a large amount of hair just kind of came out from the back. And so that was a little bit, uh, I was like, what is that? <laughs> so I did experience some shedding, but from the time that I got it from January 11th up until it's almost March 1st, tomorrow will be March 1st, um, the shedding was so minimal, guys. I mean, it literally was just like, just a couple of pieces of strands of hair. Um, so I don't, I wouldn't say that the hair is a, is a, uh, is a shedder. It definitely did last. Now I also did do the fold over method. So if you do the fold over method, whether you're getting a sew in or whether you're creating a wig unit, um, if you do the so if you do the flip over method, you will increase your chances of not experiencing shedding. Um, now I also, when I got to the very top of my head, around the um, around around the crown area, I did start to um, to cut the weft. But again, I still did not experience um, any sh a, a lot of shedding. I did not experience a lot of shedding. I don't want to say I didn't experience any shedding because that wouldn't be true. I did experience shedding, but not a whole lot. Alright guys, so in closing, I would just have to say that I have really enjoyed myself with this hair. I've had a great experience with it and it is just really great fun, like sexy hair. Um, I haven't received, I feel like this is probably like the most I've received in compliments on my hair. You guys have seemed to love the curly hair texture on me, so you will definitely be seeing more of that on my channel. Um, yeah, shout out to Diamond Virgin Hair Company for such a great product. I just have to tell you guys that I just I love the luster. I love the feel. It's very soft hair, very plush hair. I love that about it. Um, I love that it mimics real hair. So I feel like I'm wearing my hair. It worked very well with the texture of my hair. And it will work very well with different textures of hair. So, um... It's just a, it's just a solid it's a it's a solid texture and I I really enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions for me that I did not answer in this video, please be sure to place them down below. I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Um, as always, I love you so much for watching. And again, thank you Diamond Virgin Hair Company for giving me this opportunity to review your hair. Uh, yeah, alright guys, love you so much. I'll check you out in my next video. Peace out.